when can I own a robot in my home? Because I'd like to put my order in from now. <laughs> Every six months that goes by, I go to a couple of folks here and I say, the timeline for us getting a home is accelerating. And it, one of the things that'll be really helpful for us getting into the workforce, it'll really help us get system reliability up, safety up, and the cost down and volumes up for manufacturing. It'll really help us in the home. Because you really want, a, like, you'll probably have like an order of magnitude uh, pricing collapse going into the home from the workforce. Sure. And you really need economies of scale to get there. And you really need a safety certified system uh, in the home. So, like, you need a really safe product in the home. So, um, we, we are using the workforce in a lot of ways to bootstrap that vision for us. And, but I think from a performance perspective, I think, like, I think we'll start doing early work in the home and, you know, and then like, no, I, I think the, the home for us is an area where, I, yeah, I think it's accelerating in my mind every, every six months that we. Okay. But give me, give me a guess. Is it, is it three years, five years, eight years? Uh, I would say within the next three years, we'll definitely have robots piloting in the homes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I want to volunteer early on. Yeah. I'll pay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll probably start with some mock homes here in our facilities and, and start, you know, getting the bugs worked out, understanding how to so the system architectures all work. But uh, I'm I'm interested in seeing what problems we face that we're not prepared for that are limiting our ability to get in the home long term as well.